Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create an event on your Discord server. So here we are, I am on my Discord server. Make sure you're logged in to the admin uh, account for the specific server. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the server name there in the upper left hand corner and then just click the drop down menu. Everything that I'm doing here on desktop basically is identical on mobile. So you can do this both on desktop and mobile exactly the same way. Once you've hit the drop down menu, go to create event right here, the little calendar icon. And then I'm gonna zoom in here where you can see this is the three step process of creating said event. We'll have something here for uh, where, you know, the type of event you want. Do you want it to be on a voice channel or do you want it to be somewhere else like a text channel, external link or in-person location? Also, uh, eventually you'll be able, depending on the size of your server, to do it on a stage channel as well. Uh, very good for larger communities where you can bring people up that can talk and then send them back down so you don't have everyone talking over each other. So we're going to select a uh, right here where it says somewhere else. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select that option there and then we want to enter a location so basically you would want to enter a location here so for me i'm just going to go ahead and put in a the name of one of the channels uh, on my discord server the the members lounge is the name of one of the channels here in the server and then what we want to do uh, is go to next once we've done that you now give your event a topic or a event name so we'll just go ahead and give it a name now once you've given your event a name you'll have a start date start time and then obviously an end date and time as well we will start this on say the um, 3rd of October and we will start that at 9 30 a.m. and then it'll end at 12 p.m. under the description fairly self-explanatory you want to tell folks what the event is about what to expect that kind of thing so just type in a description here and then upload a cover image you just click upload a cover image here and then you just go and you find basically any image on your computer that you want to use for the like you see here I've got a thumbnail for this video I can kind of click and hold and drag that I can zoom in or out and then if I wanted to I could even skip this if I really wanted to go ahead and click apply and as you can see the event now has a thumbnail I can always go and remove the image if I want to once you've got all of the details in here appropriately go ahead and click the blue next button once again it'll give you a preview of said event and then when you're ready you just click the blue button here that says create event boom you'll get a little bit of confetti you'll have a link to give people and provide folks how to get to the event you can copy that here if we get out of that You'll see now up here in the left hand corner, you'll see something that says one event. If we click on it, you will then see an option here. Uh, you know, have the name here, get the thumbnail, and then you'll have a little icon with a number on it, lets you know how many people are interested. So if they click the interested check mark here, that will let them know that they are, you know, let you know they're interested in said event. And then if you wanted to, you could even get the link from this page here by just clicking on share. And then you can share it with folks that you're friends with on Discord, or you can just copy the link like I showed you and send that via email or other social options. If you want to remove or delete said event, you just click on the more option here, and then you'll see something that says cancel event. We can go here and just click cancel event. Are you sure you want to? Click the red button that says cancel event, and you're good. You've deleted that event. Hopefully this was helpful to show you exactly how to create and manage events on Discord. If you have any further questions, put those in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.